This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas in. Forgive my voice, but I think I'm coming down with a cold, which is not good. Not good at all. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Um, so, I did a old gamer rant about people who like to hold on to disappointment and who basically like to run people down who actually like certain things that they found wasn't as good as they would like to be you know um you could put a number of games on that list for people you know, over the recent years that people have really had issue with uh watch dog destiny um I'm, I can't, I'm drawing a blank right now on anything else because f for me, someone like me, I think the dis well, Evolve is another one I think people really went hard on. Um, oh, Advanced Warfare. Uh, yeah, it's really not that hard to pick out games that people have been extremely upset about over the past few years. Um, that being said, there's also that side of gamer of gamers who aren't as upset as those who like to hold on to their disappointments. There are people who counter that with a type of fanat fanatic behavior. You know, we call it, for the most part, fanboyism. Um, but I think it's a lot deeper than that in some cases. The reason I say that is because People can get really violent in their reactions when you have a negative opinion about something that you um, don't like that they like. I've had several people come at me um, before when I have said that I didn't like a certain game or I didn't think that game was good. Um, they, they're just as annoying. I think in some cases kind of more annoying when they when you champion something because uh the reason I say kind of more is because you kind of dismiss any possibility that there could be something wrong with something that you like uh you put some you hold something in a kind of twisted view of perfection I guess I could say I'm um, like hey I love certain series like I love the older Final Fantasies I love Zelda um, I'm a fan of Assassin's Creed that's the, probably the most recent thing I'm I, you know I'm that guy that plays every Assassin's Creed now unity was probably my biggest disappointment but all the rest, I had issues, but I still enjoyed them. Now, I'm willing to admit that there's a lot of flaws in that series. That being said, there's still something about it, the gameplay, um, the environments, the historic aspects of it, that I enjoy. Now, I'm not going to sit here and like try to tell people how wrong they are for not enjoying those things that I enjoy about the series. And how you're foolish for dismissing something that I like. It's at the end of the day, it's kind of like it's your opinion, and that's cool. I'm not here to force you to feel the way I I, I feel about something. And sometimes I feel like when people really like something, they get really extremely forceful when they want you to be into what they're into. Um, Whereas I feel like the side that argues that why you shouldn't like it is kind of feeding more off of their emotional disappointment and they can't handle their disappointment to the point where they, you know, try to reflect it upon others. I feel like the other people who really, really like it, I don't think it's, it's as, you know, it's not coming from a place of hurt I don't really know how to explain it but it feels like people who are very fanatical about something that they like 
it's like they need they need that level of acceptance from the majority you have to be a part of their way of thinking their lifestyle or something it's weird I mean it's a very difficult subject to talk about for me because I've you know I can't ever imagine myself being into something that much um you know the things that I would probably say I'm more passionate about or more real life things. I'm very passionate about charities. I love doing charity work and things like that. You know, help helping benefit society is my like fanatic side. I guess you know, I can see you being fanatical about changes in laws, the way the government it ran. But with this, something that's a hobby, something that you enjoy, I don't understand why you have to be so gung ho. And convincing people that they're wrong for not feeling the way you do this and this goes for both sides but those people who really really like something when they hear that nobody else I feel like you work a little too hard to justify your feelings to work towards that and you really don't need to um, if someone doesn't like what you like hey that's cool you know if you want to have a discussion and find out what it is that they don't like, make sure that they actually have a reason. Um, and then you just give your reasons why you think it's good, but be able to acknowledge that, hey, there's something wrong. Again, going back to my tried and true um, uh, game that I use for examples, Destiny. I understand the flaws that it had. I understand some of the things that Bungie did were just really, really bad. But there's something about the game that I really like. I've explained that before. I'm not going to go into depth because the video will be forever. Um, and, you know, I'm cool with that. So, when people come to me and like, whoa, yo, why are you playing that trash game? I say, because I don't feel like it's trash. It's something that I like. And I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you as to why I like it. Because I feel like sometimes when we hear people don't like it or we get hit with a lot of negativity towards something we like we start to get that like feeling of doubt that feeling that oh maybe I, you know I can't be wrong and we kind of go into attack mode because we want to prove them why we're not wrong about how we feel you don't have to do that you don't have to justify that you like what you like simple as that they, they like what they like simple as that no need to have this running crazy argument about this it's something in this community that is really really bad and it really needs to stop on both sides it's, it's ugly it's an ugly like stupid childish running fight that makes no damn sense but i'll finish this up in another video anyway you guys hit me up let me know what you think and i'll hunt you later it's your boy black makers and i'm out Deuces.